<laughs> Good morning, everybody. As my mother says, thank God, or said, maybe she still says it. I don't know. Thank God for Estee Lauder. Oh my God. I know. Sleeping in a new place, first night, the kitties are all like looking out the window. What's going on? It's a beautiful place up here in Maine, and we are so grateful to be here. Thank you to Helene and Colleen, because you guys sort of pulled together to make this happen, so thank you. Uh, for the Empresses watching, this is, um, this is going to be a Twin Flame reading. Um, had some interesting questions in the Empress Club forum today. If you want to join, there's a link below to join. You do have to answer the questions. That's part of, just so we know what kind of content we're curating for the um, forum. That's why we ask those questions. So, um, empresses, twin flame energy, or I really like to call it high vi higher vibration energy because really the goal of this whole path is really it to be in spiritual union with yourself. Okay? It's like, you know, I used to call it God's bait. You know, it's like the way that, that God says to you to come into this um, spiritual path, which is not easy. It is a path of awareness. It is a path of awakening. And sometimes being awakened to path to um, um, lessons that you need to learn can be enough. You know, like a lot of these things are subconscious. It can be enough to be like, oh, I see how this is working now. Woo, don't want that anymore, right? So there's a good question in the Empress Club today or last night about... Um, karmic partners. And I want to, first of all, I want to say this to you, this might be a little bit of a radical view based on some of the other people on YouTube I've heard. But um, to me, in my learning, in my own, you know, path and my own uh, process here, karmic partners are pretty much every relationship you have. Okay, they're pretty much every single one. And I've been, you know, I've touched on some people across YouTube, I've heard, I've heard other people say this, this is not like I'm not a voice in the wilderness here, but um, definitely one of the less popular ways of thinking about it. And I think that's because, you know, really um, all of us so searching for that, you know, high vibration love. And I feel like people can get it, you know, sort of messed around in their head. And that will only cause like any really high vibration love to bounce off. So I feel like some of the lesson now is kind of absorbing the idea that, hey, this is really for my own spiritual growth. That's really what I need to be doing. And for those of you who've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that's what we've been talking about. Healing and doing the work and <clears throat> the messages of pain and anger and all of those things. Really just getting into awareness about your lessons on earth. Carolyn Mace, really somebody I, I dearly love and follow. She uh, has written many books um, on soul contracts, okay? And there's a lot of good stuff out there for you to read. I recommend Carolyn Mace's book. I will put it in the, um, in the uh, link below, a link to it on Amazon. She really has done a great job of helping us understand what our karmic links are, what our karmic relationships have to do with our spiritual growth. And we say sometimes, I feel like we say karmic sometimes as a negative thing. Okay, like, oh, that's a karmic partner. Or, oh, the karmic partner is keeping me from my twin flame and all of this kind of stuff. I feel like we get lost in the uh, buzzwords of the whole thing. And so I'm going to say, let's blow this wide open. Okay, guys. And karmic partners are pretty much every relationship you have, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they are the people who are here on your path, on purpose, to help your soul grow, period, dot. You can label it as negative, you can label it as positive, however you, this is your own brain creating a box for things, right? Like, and other people have their own lessons to learn. And I assure you, it's really not personal. It's not like, oh, they're just keeping them from me. There can be an ego um, experience in the 3D that is a jealous, you know, is um, withholding, is whatever <clears throat> in karmic partnerships. But this is not personal. I just saw the sun card. That's a big yes. So um, 
let's do a little reading today. And I just want to encourage you to understand that um, karmic relationships can be your mother, can be your son, can be your teacher from third grade. You know, it can be whatever. But the the soulmate, there's some, there's a, a circle. Picture this as like a circle, right? And that's all soulmates, right? Everybody who comes in contact with you, even, you know, with any interaction at all. The people who pass you by in the airport, who um, sit on a bench with you if they don't really talk to you, if there's no real interaction, those are backdrop people in your life, okay? Those are people who populate your view. And it doesn't mean that they don't, they don't, um, Dolores Cannon did a lot of this, I, and um, Aaron Doty really talks about this, about background people. Um, but the ones you come in contact with, there can be soulmates that are really, you know, here as a, an easy, gentle kind of thing. And then there's the ones who really push your soul's growth. And that is the karmic partner. <clears throat> and then there's the twin. Okay. And so um, it comes, it does come from uh, writing many, many thousands and thousands of years ago. Just saw the Ten of Cups, which is a twin flame thing where uh, we used to be beings with four legs and four arms and two heads and Zeus threw down, right? This is like the mythological beginning of Twin Flame. And I think Plato wrote about this. This is not new. <laughs> this, this is definitely not new, but it is mythology and it is coming back around now because we are in a, we are moving the planet to a higher vibration. So. You know, people can laugh about Twin Flame and call it, you know, whatever they want to call it and stuff like that. But it's really just about the usurping of that title, of that important role um, by, you know, pop culture and by people who are not really um, all that aware, right? So that's good. <laughs> Because, you know, they have, the, they have the reason, there's a reason for them being here, and they also have something to bring to the table. Let's not diminish that. Everybody has something to bring to the table. There is no such thing as one teacher. There is no such thing. So if anybody wants to tell you that they are the only teacher, you know, no. It doesn't work like that. So just like you have many karmic partners, not, ev not one person can give you all the soul lessons you need. It just doesn't work that way. <clears throat> so beware of people who say I'm the only teacher. Even Jesus didn't say that. <laughs> okay, so let's see where we're going here. People walking by with their dogs. Oh my God, this is an awesome place. This is an awesome place. Okay, here we go. So um, this is for you. I got King of Pentacles. I also have um, Strength. Look at this, Ace of Cups. And this tells me you're moving on. The underneath of this deck can be so fascinating when you read tarot if you do read tarot look at that the t I'll, I'll read this for you in a second <clears throat> both twin flame all twin flame cards so this is the underneath of the deck if you want to join the tarot class our first live class is june 13th so you better jump on the link is below now this is you okay being offered something new Okay, new love is coming, and you really are. This is the this is the stuff that's going on inside you. Could be a um, ruminating on the lessons we just talked about. Ruminating on the ideas of higher vibration love and karmic partners and soulmates and who are all these people. I feel like some some of you have come into union. I say I see that in the Empress Club, and that recently happened within the last month and a half. There's still some folks out there who have signaled to the universe that they are not ready. And that's why that had happened. Uh, separation is an important point, an important part. Even as much as union is important, separation is potentially more important. Okay? Because it's going to get you where you want to go. And it's going to teach, it's going to be the healing lessons. It's going to be the things that move you down the road. So seven of swords moving, this is escapism truly. And some people can be escaping into this like definition of high vibration love. But as we're moving into Cancerian time, here's the Cancerian cards of self love and movement forward. And look at this toward two of wands. Whoopsie, come back here. <laughs> You're alive. Uh, two of cups, 10 of cups, Empress. These are my two twin flame cards, okay? So the 
you can see the progression here. It's like I've become stronger because I've been through these lessons. I'm now available to this love. I'm now available to this. I'm no longer doing the stuff that is, um, I'm, I've completed a certain level of task, a certain level of healing. And when that happens, check this out. So the cell, this is about self-love and um, uh, nurturing oneself and choosing oneself over uh, codependency and um, karmic patterns of all kinds, um, you know, jealousy, lower vibration feelings. You know what they are, their jealousy, their hate, their anger, their envy, the seven deadly sins. That's why they're called that, because that's low vibration. Deadly, because if you stay in that, that is a way of siphoning off your life, okay? So to move toward this is really where we're going. <clears throat> and so let's see, <laughs> let's see uh, where this shows us. Page of Swords, needing more information. Nine of Cups, getting what you wish for. Nine of Pentacles. The Nines, that's very good here, right? Four of Wands coming toward you. Check that out. Check that out. Okay. Here's the karmic balance here, okay? So there's something here about like, oh, I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing it right. I need more information. The two pages here. I need more information or I need, um, you'll be getting, I feel like that's like getting a message of, of passion it could be from twin energy this is the situation is nine of cups getting what you want this is the opportunity to be in another another nine here we got three out of four nines in this very small bit of cards one two three four five six seven and um justice nine of swords page of wands so this tells me that there's something still needs to be balanced, right? Libra is still about being balanced. And Nine of Swords, it's all like you're killing yourself. Like, ooh, am I enough? Am I good enough? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Okay, this is not like, you know, Miss Riley's fourth grade English class. Although Miss Riley was a fantastic teacher, I must tell you. If she's still alive, awesome. Um, I doubt it. Anyway, um, you're all worried about, you have this karmic um, situation on your head, like, am I doing it right? Am I enough? Am I good enough? And that's what is here is telling you is the chariot and the queen of cups. You always, always, even if you're learning more lessons, even you are good enough, always from day one, even if you are in the middle of the worst karmic connection where you're constantly being clobbered and, and whatever. The reason is that you're staying in it is because your belief, it's your belief systems that needs to change. I am not good enough, so I'm going to stay in this. So I don't care if it is your twin. Whoever is, if you're in this situation of like, am I doing it right? Um, I want you to understand that the way t forward is to love yourself first. So if you have a situation where somebody is, um, and this could be a, a twin or this could be another karmic or soulmate, that someone is enticing you to cheat or someone wants to go away with you, third parties or anything like that, and you think you need to stay because this is the person you want, um, <clears throat> I, I want to encourage you to choose yourself. Choose you. Always choose you. Always choose, is this, I think um, the other day we did, a, I did a reading, water sign maybe, about um, ask yourself, is this loving to self? Am, is what I am doing <clears throat> supportive of the life I want? And I think people get turned around in this because they think being with the partner, being with the twin or whatever, physically or in the 3D is what's necessary. But that partner could still be off the reservation. They could be doing things, you know, they could be doing drugs. They could be stealing money. They could be all kinds of low vibration stuff. So in order for you to be healed and also don't take on this fourth grade, like I have to get an A plus from Miss Riley. Don't be a grade grubber. Okay. This is not about being a grade grubber. This is about your own soul's growth. So you can look at a situation and go, you know what? 
even though this is my twin or even though, you know, this is an object, this is a subjective thing that you're saying to yourself because um, there is lots of reasons why a twin may be the hardest karmic partner you have and also may be the most joyful. Like, which do you want, right? Stay away until it's the most joyful, right? And only then and only then will it be joyful, right? To, so be in the high vibration about this thing. So don't be a fourth grade grade grubber of like, I just have to stay and stick it out because this is my twin. No, the part of your lesson is to be loving to self. You are worth more. You have more um, to learn here because you're still in this. Why is this nine of swords and justice here? No grade grubbers. No great rubbers. Death, transformation, five of wands, seven of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So this reading is for some of you who are with a, um, could be a, a narcissistic partner or somebody who is um, very controlling, making you wait, making you fight for everything. Okay. Making you do this. This is a very uh, transformative person. This may or may not be a twin. Okay. This is a definite karmic partnership that is pushing you by their control to re release because here's the thing no one's controlling her got me no one's controlling her and nine of pentacles is very much about being in a uh, high vibration um, being having your money together doing things if you're if you have a partner who is trying to sabotage your work or sabotage your progress forward in any way, shape, or form. That is not a twin. Because your twin also has a parallel mission on this planet. And there is no way that that partner wants to push you off that. Okay? Even if they're in low vibration, even if they're an addict, even if they're a narcissist, I don't personally believe, because narcissism is a personality disorder and that is not fixable. Okay? Um, I personally don't believe that, you know, all twins are meant to be together as life partners on this planet. I just don't believe that. I do believe that there's union. I do believe all those other pieces of the lore that are part of Twin Flame. I don't believe that you're all meant to be life partners, okay? Some people choose a path of um, monasticism uh, for whatever reason. That's their soul. That's their soul's purpose. If you have a karmic partner if you have a twin partner if you're well let me say this if you have a twin partner who has a um a leadership spiritual leadership monastic kind of approach meaning it is a singular thing and there is a twin who is you know sort of running alongside um that is something that you will see very clearly you would know already <laughs> if that is your path and if you're resisting that and you're getting a whole lot of karmic partners in your life and you're not really seeing it clearly, um, this is going to be very transformative to you because I feel like this is a joyful thing. You may not be in life partnership with this twin. Okay. So four wands coming toward you, love coming toward you, emperor, empress, right? Higher, highest vibration. If this partner is somebody who is really in low vibration, this is going to be a long wait. Okay. This is going to be a long wait. And that's why you're like this. Like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Okay. This person has to go through transformation big time. You're the one who's aware. You're the one who's awakened and aware. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. I'm going to get some more. I'm going to get some um, Oracle cards around this. This feels like a huge deal to me. Okay. So uh, this is a very specific reading for those who are in higher vibration and their twin is in still low vibration. Okay. Addiction. Um, narcissist. I'm not, I, I don't want to label this person a narcissist. That is a specific diagnosis. Okay. This is somebody who is just merely controlling. So controlling, so withholding. So, you know, needing to really transform out of that because you're really alone in all of these things here. You're alone right? You're alone here, nines, all these nines, completing cycles, right? Completing cycles. So let's figure out what you need to do because they're going to do what they're going to do, right? Okay. So link is below for an extended. If you want to keep coming, keep going with me. Uh, I'll see you on the other side.